welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Wednesday the 4th of December 2019 and my voice is still a little bit weird but it's coming back slowly. Thank you again for all your messages, thank you for your get well messages, it's really nice to know and also for the advice, loads of things, ginger, local honey, I have tried them all actually, I still am, especially honey. I think I am consuming about half a jar a day. It's quite nice though. Okay, what do we need to know? Wednesday the 4th, we are using the Cosmic Tarot. I can never remember who this is by. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hang on. Norbert Loesch. I can never say that right. Norbert Loesch. Is that right? Norbert Loesch. Gorgeous, gorgeous 1980s tarot. Oh, okay. What do we need to know? The peak of the week. Okay. Wow, okay. That's good actually, it feels like an oppression is lifting, she says. <laughs> nice. Ooh, well that's handy. And those three came up yesterday. Okay. There is a sense here for me that a burden is lifting, okay? We've got the nine of wands and we also have the ten of wands and they're both in reverse. And when you get the ten of wands in reverse, there is a sense of either surrendering gracefully or quite frankly, just dropping all the stuff that you've been shouldering for ages because you, you can't carry it anymore. You know, either will do because the Ten of Wands is reaching the end of the suit. So it's like, fine, either you decide to stop carrying that or you'll just drop it all over the floor. Okay, but there's some real mixed feelings about this. I've got the Five of Swords in reverse, which is Venus in Aquarius, and in a sense, there is a shift in power, which we did have kind of yesterday, but it was a bit mixed. And then we also have the Five of Cups, which is registering what has been lost. There is a desire with the Nine of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Wands in reverse. And we also have the Ace of Wands in reverse, which we had yesterday. There is a desire to hold on to something that is kind of slipping the net. The, the Ace of Wands, of course, is the beginning of the one suit and the Ten of Wands is the pinnacle or the ultimate or where you're reaching the top of a cycle. And when you have both and they're both in reverse, it's like holding on to a negative cycle. So it feels like with the Five of Cups, we want to somehow hold on to something emotionally quite negative. Okay. Overall energy card, the chariot in reverse. Now the chariot is our emotional, um, I think of it as a car, I mean it is obviously the emotional chariot with two horses going in different directions. When it's in reverse, don't be surprised if your emotions are like a pinball machine and they're going from here to there. You know, you love this, you hate this or you love them, you hate them, whatever it is, it's just a bit out of control. But it's okay underneath. The biggest message that I'm getting from this is to feel the difficulty of letting go of something, which is the Five of Cups. That is a straightforward card of feeling sorrow, but also letting yourself grieve the loss of something. But it's also, we've got the Hermit, there are certain lessons to be learned from it, okay? In the middle of the reading, we've got this rather lovely Four of Wands, which is a card of 
Sometimes it's called a card of celebration, but it's more a card of balance. Things coming together in a really strange way, okay? I'm gonna take a Brian and Wendy Freed for that one. <laughs> That's what this reading is about, okay? The shadow of the past. That is the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Five of Cups and the Ace of Wands in reverse. There was a situation in the past which I it feels like um, we were on the back foot and the other person or, you know, organisation or whatever it was had more power over it. And in a sense, what's happening is we're surrendering our need for it. Sometimes our need for something feels very close to us and even though it wasn't great we're not happy about having to let it go okay but five of swords in reverse that is a reversal it's a reversal of power and we almost don't want our own power back because it kind of feels lonely that's what the hermit the hermit is you know someone of solitude but actually there are sides to the hermit which can feel lonely. They don't take human company with them when they go to the cave or wherever it is that they're going. I mean, it's difficult to be a human sometimes. We're not um, good at letting go of things, even if they weren't that good for us. And sometimes, especially if they weren't that good for us. Nice. Now to go with the shadow of the past, we get the dreaming. And the dreaming is about, for me, it's about manifesting, but it's also about not limiting your dreams. I'm going to take, no, I'm not going to use them actually. I'm going to use these Rider weight. I'm just going to take a couple of cards from the Rider weight as well as a clarifier. Apologies again for my voice. I, I'm sure it will get stronger as the days go by as the honey gets consumed, oh my God, okay. So this message is particularly for those of you that read your own tarot or are empathic or spiritual because I'm getting repeaters. Yes. Okay. Oof. Nine of Wands in reverse again, so we already had that. That's about surrendering defence. Two of Pentacles in reverse, Jupiter in Capricorn, which is about being flexible. Someone or something has required you to turn yourself inside out in order to tolerate it, and you're not going to be able to do it anymore. You're going to drop the ball. That's the chariot as well. In a sense, you've had to spin so many plates to keep this situation going that either you can't or you won't, okay? We've got the Page of Cups in reverse, which again, for some of you, this is, you know, by the time they turn up with something in a cup, it's a bit of a stinking fish. And for others of you, you're not going to apologise. You're not going to apologise for behaving or... You're not going to apologise for dropping the burden once and for all. And I think it's a good thing. It's just sad and difficult. Let's have an oracle card. We need a cheery reading, don't we? We will get one. Okay, let's have an oracle card. Yay! I like that card. It may not feel like it at the moment, okay? but you're cracking the egg on something new. It might feel, you know, burdensome and difficult and sad in some cases and emotional, but actually you are cracking an egg and, you know, we know what they say about omelettes. <laughs> okay. Healing with the angels, oracle card. Do you remember yesterday we got guardian angel, okay? And it was that idea that there is someone looking out for you in this situation. Well, there's more than one, there's a whole team. We get support. This can be friends and family on earth, but it's often celestial, 
So whoever your spiritual support is, whatever you use, whoever your guardian angel is or whatever it is that you pray to, they're on board, okay? They're on board. So do leave me a comment and let me know how that resonates with you and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.